In today's video, we're going to be looking at some charts and trying to find out what some of the better companies are to invest in right now this week. So let's get down, let's check out some of these amazing charts and some things that you can actually look at in stocks that you're looking to buy as well. So if you're looking at charts, these are some tactics that you can use as well. Okay, so first off is Canada Goose. Now, of course, they trade on the stock market as G-O-O-S as their ticker, and they currently have a double bottom. Now, this is very, very good to always look at and try to find on your stocks that you're currently in, trying to invest in. If you're waiting like myself to get into a few stocks and you're seeing them slowly, inch down then the good way to really see it is of course the double bottom this also can be set up when of course you do see a double bottom but this first acceleration downwards if it's a massive massive volume day and then it is followed up by a little bit of a rebound and then it's down again with less volume or at least average volume I should say and then it starts to rebound and then if you're watching the trend line and it breaks through this trend line at that point I would say it is time to buy this is what they call a double bottom I really like to look at a double bottom when the first bottom has massive volume this is what I call capitulation which is essentially the day where everyone says oh no the world is ending we need to get out and then of course if this follows this is definitely the best way to find a good cheap stock now this is nano one they are traded on the stock market their ticker symbol symbol is nano n a n o and anytime that you see this which is what they call a hammer this will usually tell you that there is going to be some pretty good stock increases coming to that chart now sometimes when you see this some people do make a mistake if there's a little bit of a line above it and they say well that's close enough to being a hammer it's a hammer well it's actually not so anytime you look at the bar chart or the uh, you, people also call these a candle chart sometimes if you see basically a big line and then a white empty box on top that is definitely the time to buy now of course if you get close with a little bit of a dot on top a little bit of a line on top yes you may still get a little bit of an increase the next day but it's going to continue to go down however when you see this a perfect hammer it is a very good time historically to buy the stock also, I like to really point out that this downwards motion was a very heavily traded day for this stock, which to me, anytime you see downwards momentum, especially if it's a stock that you're following at that point in time, you really want to say, okay, well, let's see if this is followed up in the next couple of days. And if it's not, and then there is a massive gaining day with better than average volume at that point you know that okay this stock is about to turn over and then you see the hammer it is time to of course buy so most would call this a flag formation now basically what I'm seeing is a double bottom but also a flag so of course a flag is when you've got the stock chart starting to trade towards a point and then as soon as it trades out of that formation that is generally the time to purchase that stock now of course this is just when you're reading a chart what happens in the past doesn't always happen into the future I also like to point out the fact that it is a double bottom so there is a few different things that are going for this specific chart which is Square, SQ on the stock market. I also think that Square is going to be very, very good into the future, especially with businesses reopening. There's going to be more and more people not using cash because a lot of stores, at least where I live, started saying we're not taking cash at this time because it's too dirty. We are afraid of the coronavirus. And if this is a trend that's happening not just locally for me, 
but a lot of places everywhere else, that tells me that these companies are looking and actively searching for ways to take credit. And of course, that could help companies like Lightspeed, but it will also help companies like Square. I, there's a couple of restaurants in my area that I like that sell barbecue, and they use Square. And it really surprised me because I use Square with my business as well for basketball training. So I also use PayPal as well, and I try to use PayPal. It's a little bit better for me. I get a better uh, percentage that they take. But Anyways, Square seems to be pretty well set up for the future, especially with more and more people that seem to be freelancing like I do. The next stock is Airbnb. ABNB is the ticker. And this one has a he upside down head and shoulders. And usually when you see a head and shoulders, if it's an upward head and shoulders, which means that if it looks like this, then at that point, I also call this the middle finger, but um, anytime that you see this that means it's going down however if you see it upside down there's the shoulder there's the head there's the shoulder and then it breaks out of the trend line that's there as we see right here breaking close to above that 150 mark or at least getting close if not above at that point it's a very good time to buy we also see the volume when the head hit the volume was massive and anytime, again, you see massive volume and the stock starts to turn around, it's usually a good time to start buying. If it's a stock that you have been looking at for a long time and then you see capitulation, of course, high volume on a down day, that is usually a time to say, okay, well, I was looking to invest, let's say, $10,000. Well, I'm going to invest 2,500, 25% of what I was looking to totally invest into the company. And then if it goes up, then I'm happy. If it goes up, that means that it's going to come down and have a little bit of a pullback again. And if it does and it starts breaking through what looks to be a head and shoulders or an upside down head and shoulders, at that point in time, that's when you would start loading up and adding in the rest of your 7,500, let's say, that you wanted to invest. In my opinion, Airbnb is actually a good way to play what's happening right now in the world because I'm going to say that there's some hotels that have probably gone under in some hotel locate in some vacation locations. And from there, that may open up even more opportunities for people to rent out houses or even apartments that may be or condos that may be in those vacation areas. Now, Airbnb is sometimes also a cheaper option when you're traveling and not always. And I always like to stay at a hotel myself. I also want to say that none of these stocks I currently invest in, however... The, this is still an interesting chart. This is still an interesting play on the reopening. And there could be some pretty good gains that could come from this. Again, don't trust anyone that you see on the internet. Do your own research. Of course, I do not own any of these stocks, so I'm not trying to specially push them for any certain reason. But you never know. Always do your own research anyways. I hope that this video has helped you. If it has, hit that like button, subscribe, and I will see you guys again next time.